What's up guys and gals, John from the Lunchbox Boys, and today we're going to be breaking down a 2015 Corset Deck Builders Toolkit. First off, always make sure that your stuff is sealed. And let's go ahead and check out the back. This Deck Builders Toolkit puts 285 cards at your disposal with everything you need to create multiple decks. No two toolkits are alike. I think that's bullshit. Each box contains 125 semi-randomized cards suitable for building several different magic decks, four 15-card booster packs from a variety of recent Magic the Gathering sets, 100 basic land cards to help cast your spells, Deck Builder's Guide with tips about building the magic decks, Magic Rules reference card, and full, full art reusable card storage box. So, for $20, it's with the MSRP, 20 bucks. You get four booster packs in there, so that's that's sixteen dollars right there. So for the extra four dollars, would you take a hundred and twenty-five card semi-randomized deck, a uh, uh, hundred basic land cards, and uh, a box you could store your stuff in? I would. So get her going. Okay, first off, let's check out our booster packs. We got a. 2015 Corset, a Theros, a Born of the Gods, and a Dragon's Maze, which is no longer standard, so we'll set that aside for now. You get a Rules Reference Card, Junk, we know how to play. This little cardboard spacer, that's Junk. Deck Builder's Toolkit, Description, that's Junk. We look, we get a Land Pack. So there's a hundred lands, well, a portion of it. There's another one. You got Evolving Wilds, pretty underrated card in my opinion, because if you're playing a two or three color deck, a lot of times one color is what's going to hinder you. All right, let's go ahead and okay. Here's the box. It's about as big as a fat pack box. It's not. It's hinged. It's you can tell it's cheaper than a fat pack box, but. Hey, it does the job. And we have our first pack. Let's go ahead and open this. <clears throat> All right, right off the bat, we get a rare Aegis Angel. Mahatmi, Ma, Mahamoti Jin. Pretty crappy rare. Nightmare. Siobhan Dragon, that's a pretty pretty decent rare right there. Terra Stomper, not a bad rare either. Let's see, Banishing Light. So, I mean, it's not just M15. You got Journey into Nyx, Theros. So, I mean, it's, it's from a lot of your standard sets. Got a handful of each color. Get into the black. Sign in blood. Very good card, in my opinion. Searing blood. It's a pretty good card. Lightning strikes. Can't never have too many lightning strikes or bolt of Kyranos. So. Five rares, one of each color, right off the bat. So, even though they're not the greatest rares in the world, they're still rares. I mean, I said the Siobhan Dragon. You could always use a Siobhan Dragon. And we're getting into the green. Elvish Mystic, good mana ramp. Titanic Growth. Can't never have too many Titanic Growth. Even get a couple artifacts. It's going to start you off on your lands in the second pack. So, I mean, <clears throat> 100 land cards, you really, really, is it is it worth sacrificing another pack you could buy to get, well, that's well over five packs worth of cards. 
Oh, Sky Spear Cavalry Flying Double Striker. Kind of expensive on the mana cost. Ooh, I don't remember getting him. My last one. Now this one's got some of the better cards in it, actually. I can make some pretty good substitutions with a couple of the ones I found. Another Bolt of Kirinos. And then I believe this is just straight up lands, but we'll make sure. Oh yeah, straight up lands, but never have too many lands. <clears throat> Alright, well, may as well get down into the anatomy of a booster pack as well. Booster pack MSRPs for about $4. Uh, you can get booster packs several different ways. You can buy intro packs, which usually come with two. And they're around $15. And you get a pre-made deck and two booster packs. So $7 for a pre-made deck if you were going to buy booster packs anyway. Eh, depends on what, you know, usually they have a uh, <clears throat> uh, alt art foil, usually a rare with each one so you know might be worth get looking into but to break down a booster pack you get one two three four five six seven eight nine this one's got nine commons one two three uncommons wow this has got to be a good haul this one's going to be a good haul we got exava rakdos blood witch rakdos blood witch she is a maze runner for the Rakdos Guild. Ooh. Ooh, a foil rare. It's a Demir. See the watermark. Trait doctoring. Change the text of target permanent by replacing all instances of one color with another or one basic land type with another until end of turn with the Cypher ability. Cypher's really cool. And you get a land card, which could be a dual land. We got Is It Guildgate. It comes in the battlefield tap, adds a blue or a red to your mana pool. And a token. Sometimes you get a tip card, and that's one of my biggest gripes is they should all be tokens because who wants tip cards? We already know how to play, wizards. Come on. Get your shit together. God damn. But I'm going to take these rares and put them over here. Okay, so that's not your standard... That wasn't your standard booster pack. That was one that had a foil rare and a regular rare, which <clears throat> I don't think either one of them is worth really more than a buck. So we'll get into our next one. Maybe we'll. I'm used to getting shitty pulls anyway. Anyway, we're going on about booster packs. You can get booster packs in fat packs, which. I really get them on sale for 30 no more than $35. Um, they MSRP for about 40 You get nine booster packs, two cardboard deck boxes that won't hold sleeved cards. I sleeve mo most of my cards I play with. Uh, spin down counter from the set. Um, oh, and the... Uh, the uh, little booklet that has every card in that set so you'll know what you want to get out of it all right one two three four five six seven eight nine nine uncom or nine nine commons one two three uncommons uh oh uh oh Ness and Wilds Ravager we have a Hydra with tribute six Holy crap, this is a good pull. We got another foil rare. Oracle of Bones. And I think he's kind of salty, if I remember right. But a foil makes them generally double their value. Get a basic land. Put that with the basic lands. And a tip card. Junk. See, Wizards, that's where I could use my Hydra tokens for the Hydra I just got. But no. All right. Pharaoh's pack. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten commons. That is a standard pack. Ten commons. One, two, three uncommons. And a rare. We've got Fleece Main Lion. As long as it has mo as monstrous as hexproof and indestructible. Damn. He's a 3-3 three, three for a green and a white. Another goddamn tip card. Fuck them tip cards in the land. All right. And generally, Nix and Theros. Um, Theros more so. Uh, I've been getting pretty good pulls. But M15, the core set. Uh, we're going to find out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got ten commons. Standard pack. One, two, three uncommons. And a Battlefield Forge, one of those fucking lands. Shut up, phone. Got a land card and a token. Well, I'm going to have to get that, but... Basically, that's a breakdown of a Magic 2015 Deck Builders Toolkit and all the booster packs that come with it. So, until next time... Play on, players.